Philosophical discipline is a controversial concept, while all encompassing science can be called the middle name of philosophy. And this reflects the metaphysics of the statement, philosophy is the science of sciences. Science, or more precisely the sciences, is or are characterized by plurality and ignorance of how one's own research relates to other areas of research. But philosophy cannot but relate to everything taken together at the same time. So philosophy, in contrast to philosoph philosophical disciplines, is infinitely universal. And by specializing in a particular area, philosophy loses its connection with the bosom of philosophy. Thus, a specialist in philosophy is found only in the periphery of philosophy, in the field of history of philosophy, among representatives of the philosophy of consciousness, the philosophy of science, etc. That is where more knowledge is required than one's own philosophizing. And the field of philosophy as such, that is not the field of philosophical disciplines, is on the contrary a living all and compassioning unit. The presence of various branches of philosophy, for example ethics, philosophy of science, and philosophy of mind is based on the assumption that the fundamental philosophical questions have already been solved and that now the task is only to correctly apply known true propositions. Otherwise such a theory is a derivative of unfinished philosophical material. And in analytical philosophy fundamental philosophical questions are replaced by a formal interpretation of presented philosophical propositions. And due to the fact that interpretations by analytic philosophy itself are not analyzed, analytic philosophy constitute an aggregate of propositions that are not rooted in the foundations of philosophy as such. The question is how philosophy like science could acquire a multitude of disciplines. Is it not because philosophy itself has become a science? Would such scientific philosophy then coincide with the philosophy of science? And would such scientific philosophy then become a philosophical science? Isn't, by the way, Wittgenstein right that the word philosophy must mean something which stands above or below, but not beside the natural sciences. If philosophy would become a science, what would then happen to philosophy? And how could philosophy be concerned with questions other than its own problems, as long as this last question, which in theory should be addressed first, remains unresolved? It seems that the reason is that this fatal and most fundamental question for philosophy itself has not yet been asked. We still philosophize without understanding our own philosophies, in other words. And philosophy unfolds in the sphere of still non-philosophical questions. It is also clear that a philosophical question differs from a non-philosophical question in that it does not take its givenness as given, but tries to understand its incomprehensibility. 